Okay, this video is going to be on hanging a heavy mirror or picture. This particular mirror that I'm hanging today weighs 28 pounds. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the picture wire that we purchased for it is rated for at least 28 pounds or more. So in my case, I'm using 30 pound wire and make sure you put it up. So once you put it through the holes that hold up the, uh, the actual mirror in my case, that you twist it all the way to the middle. Same thing on the right side. And that way it won't unravel through the weight. That's your first step is getting the the proper rating for the picture wire and then putting it on properly. Now, if there isn't a decent fastening system for the piece of art or mirror or picture that you have, I highly recommend going on Amazon and getting a, a kit, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll find a kit for you and I'll give you a link for that in uh, the information section of this video. Same for the wire and anything else we might need. So anyways, the first thing we want to do is determine where that mirror is going to go. Now, in my case, uh, my wife wanted it centered on this uh, dresser we had here. So, And what I had to do was hold it up for her, and then she made a mark where she wanted that, uh, that mirror to be, the, just the top of it. Don't worry about the center right now. So once you've got the mark on the top of the mirror, you can set the mirror back down and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, measure how much distance there is from the top of the mirror to the wire held up as tight as you can. In my case, it's four and a quarter inches. So, And the other thing to mention here is, is I made sure that I centered this cabinet perfectly centered on a wooden stud. Now, if you don't have a wooden stud, the only way I would recommend putting this in is with, uh, they make some heavy duty fastening devices for sheetrock called a toggler, and they have a quarter inch bolt size. They're rated up to, I think, 265 pounds. And if you watch my video on hanging a flat screen TV, you can find out more about that toggler. I'll, I'll put a link for the toggler uh, on Amazon too. But uh, now in my case, I had one of these fancy stud finders. And that's great, you know, I can, I can put it on there and I can find where the stud is. But you may not have that. So what you're going to have to do is, is once you... Uh, determine that there is a stud somewhere in the general vicinity where you're going to be able to center that cabinet. You know, use uh, trial by sound here. If you listen, you can tell you're going to get close to a stud. Okay, so you know right about somewhere in this area, you know, you've got a stud in this area somewhere. So, and keep in mind that the mirror is going to be mounted on this wall. So, don't worry about defacing the wall a little bit. Now what you're going to do is take this long finishing nail and you're going to gently tap it in. You know, you got half inch sheetrock and if you're missing the stud, well, the nail's going to go through the sheetrock and then continue making holes at about quarter inch increments until you hit the stud and then continue on until you come off the stud again. Mark that first hole where you hit the stud and mark the last hole where you just came off it and then you go to the middle of that and you know you're going to be in the middle of the stud. So there's your there's your poor man's stud finder, but that's super important. If you if you can't put this on a stud or use those uh, heavy duty toggler bolts, then you're really putting everybody in danger of this heavy object falling down. So now in my case, uh, you know, I had to measure the width of the cabinet, and in this case, it was a 40 inch cabinet. So we know the center is at 20 inches, okay? So once we get the 20 inches, then all we gotta do is put, in my case, I needed like a, a four foot level, and make sure you put the, the bottom of the level right on the edge of the 20 inch mark, in my case, for the center, and then just, you know, level up, uh, Level up the level until it's perfect, and then make your mark. In my case, uh, I just drew down approximately four or five inches. I drew a line, and then uh, then I, I measured down 
from that original line that we made. I measured down four and a quarter inches. Now I know that if I put my screw there, uh, not only am I going to hit the stud, but it's going to be uh, the proper height that we wanted when we started. So uh, now the other thing we have to have is we have to have a, a sturdy enough screw. Now this is a deck screw here, but you know, this is what you want. You want a heavy duty screw and uh, I'm using an impact driver to put it in. And what I also like to do for safety's sake is I like to take one of these fender washers and put it on the end. And then when I go to hang this object, I'm gonna make sure that wire is behind that flat washer. And what that's gonna do for me is, you know, let's say we didn't have that. You know, if we, if we didn't have that flat washer and we hung that wire and it's just on the edge of this, well, God only knows, somebody's doing some house cleaning, it slips off and now you got 30 pounds of mirror crashing down. If you, if you use that flat washer, Okay, there's, there is no way that that is coming off. So, little tip there with the fender washer, and, and that's it. You know, now all we gotta do is put our screw in and hang our mirror with the flat washer, and uh, we'll continue on after I get that done. Okay, here's a little tip too. When you, you put that flat washer on that screw that's going into the wall, when you go to hang your piece of uh, art or mirror or picture, that washer is going to want to flop around on you. So what I like to do is I like to pull it towards me on the top and then take a little piece of scotch tape and put it over there so it touches the screw. And that's going to keep that open on the top and it's going to make your life a lot easier when you go to hang that piece of art because there's no way you're going to be able to hang it and put your hand by hand there at the same time. So anyways, I just thought I'd show you that little trick before you go to hang it. Okay, so we've got our mirror up, and I just wanted to mention about the screws. You've got to make sure you've got a good, high-quality screw. These are uh, Griprite Prime Guard Plus, and you've got to make sure you've got a two and a half inch screw to get this job done. And our mirror is centered, and it's secure, and it's safe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel.